Winston Churchill said, My most brilliant achievement was my ability to be able to persuade my wife to marry me. Being able to convince another human being to go on a forever journey with one, I will say, is not something to be spoken of lightly. Marriage happened in every culture of the world, and even the Yoruba culture is also not left behind. But unknown to many Yoruba language speaking people, the original Yoruba word for wife is Aya, and not the commonly used Iyawo these days. Long, long time ago, in the early years of the Yoruba people, the word Iyawo did not have a place in the Yoruba language, not until an incident brought about its coinage and usage. A long time ago in the Yoruba land, there was a beautiful princess who happens to be the daughter of the first king of Iwo town named Wura Ola, who was in search for a patient, tolerant, kind and well-behaved husband. Strong, powerful and good-looking men, the likes of Shongo, Ogo and others all traveled to Iwo town to seek the hand of Wuraola in marriage, but left not with a wife but great anger. Wuraola had been rude to every single one of them. In fact, she hurled insults and curses at her suitors, which made them all leave on the same day that they arrived the town of Iwo because they could not tolerate her bad behaviors. But there was a man named Arumila, a man known for his great wisdom and knowledge, a good looking man, also journeyed to Iwo in the quest to win the heart and the hand of Wura Ola in marriage. But before he set out, he had already consulted Olodumare, the supreme being, through Ifa, the god of divination, Oracle. Olodumare revealed to Arimila that he must be patient with Wura Ola and endure her behaviors, no matter how bad they are, in order to succeed in the quest of marrying Wura Ola. When Arimila got to the palace of the king of Iwo, he was greeted with the ease and scornful look by Wuraola. The unperturbed Arimila smiled and returned her greetings with kind and sweet words and also presented gifts to the king. Arimila stayed in Iwo for seven days, which can be described as nothing but hell on earth. Wuraola did not serve Arimila water, let alone food. She insulted the goodness out of Arimila, but he stayed calm and smiled at her. He even smiled when she used his Okmoifa, the divination board, as firewood and when she took his pouch from him. Though Arumila bowed with rage, still he didn't show it or leave Iwo according to the instructions of Olodumare, Yoruba god. On the sixth day of Arumila's stay in Iwo town, the king of Iwo gave Uraola in marriage to him after concluding that he is a patient, kind and tolerant man suitable to marry his daughter. Meanwhile, Uraola's bad behaviors were planned to test her suitors so as to get her a husband with good manners and tempers. She was a lovely, caring, and well-behaved lady. Arimila was glad that he heeded the instructions of Olodumari, and on the seventh day, he and Uraola journeyed back to his town. Arimila was welcomed and praised by his town people for his achievement. When they asked him about Uraola, his wife, he responded, that is, my sufferings in Iwo town. That was how wives became known as Iya Iwo, that is, sufferings in Iwo. Now, it is called Iya Iwo. So we can see that it's not today that men have been going through a lot just to be with the woman of their dream. The journey is only for the strong and the patient. And we hope today that just like Onrumila, as he was patient, as he was kind, that you would also be with the woman of your dream. And we also hope that you have learned something today.